Seaweed Gardens is a group of creative scientists and growers coming together around an experiment where we're using seaweed that we've gathered on the shore in Oban and we're using it to make a natural fertiliser. What we're trying to do is connect between our food and our land and our coastlines and our seaweed. So we're looking at how we can make fertiliser from seaweed, whether some of our green or brown or red seaweed makes a difference. And for me, I think a really important part of it is building the capacity of the community to know that they can answer these questions through science and that there are loads of ways they can take it in the future. Seaweed Gardens is part of the Highlands and Islands Climate Change Community Grant Scheme. It's funded by UK Research and Innovation, it's delivered by the British Science Association and it's supported by us at Science Cayley locally. The Highlands and Islands Community Grants are a series of 10 grants funded by UKRI and they're designed to support local communities in Scotland to engage with climate research. We partner with the British Science Association and Science Cayley on this programme because of their rich experience and history working with community groups on research and innovation. What's really exciting about this programme is it's really looking at public engagement with research but when communities take the reins. We've really been thinking about what happens to community ideas around climate change, adaptation, what's important to them locally, and then finding researchers to work with them to support them on their ideas. When the media started talking a lot about COP26 and this really high level event, it became apparent to us that there wasn't really going to be an opportunity for the public to participate. But we also know that when wider society is involved, that improves the research and innovation. It makes it better, it makes it more relevant and useful. And so what we are trying to do with these projects is really pilot this new approach to funding, bringing communities into the research process to influence how it's done, the questions that researchers ask, and how it's communicated. These pilot projects are really just the start of UKRI's journey to funding much more community-led research and innovation. Community building, everything we've done has shown that it's so key to building resilience against climate change because the only way we're going to survive and adapt and, and learn to deal with the challenges that are coming is to find ways to support each other. And quite a lot of the research we're doing is looking at how we can increase community resilience, how we can build that in. You know, we're already talking about, can we do science art projects together? Can we find new ways to expand our growing and build the community? Uh, we're having conversations about permaculture in Oban and can we bring people together for learning and knowledge exchange? So it could springboard into anything. I think that's the exciting thing about it. Thank you.